Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to replace the spark plugs on a Chrysler PD Cruiser. It is the same for all models and years with the 2.4 engine in the United States. The 2.4 is the only engine I think and in Europe they have different, different engines and modifications. So stay with us to see how we're going to replace the spark plugs and don't forget to subscribe for about 5 new videos every week. Okay, the first thing that we need to do, we need to get a flathead screwdriver and we need to remove that clamp right there. That's for the intake hose that goes towards the throttle body. So you need to get it loose on both sides. One towards the throttle body and one that is close to the airbox. So we can remove the hose on the side. And you just pull it out, okay, like that. Next thing that we'll need to do, we need to pull that vacuum hose on top of the throttle body, right there. You just pull it. And now we have two clips on the throttle body, one there, the throttle position sensor, and one right here. One thing about those clips, let me show you. When they're locked, they're in that position, so it prevents you from clicking on the button here to release the clip. So you need to move this one all the way to the back, so you can activate the clicker right there and take it out. The other one is the same way and this one right here as well. You just pull the red thing and push the button. Sometimes they get a little stuck so you might need to help it with the screwdriver. And we will need to remove that clamp right there that's holding the wire to the throttle, to the, to the intake. Though sometimes they tend to break Okay, we'll need to remove that clamp right there that's holding the wires to the intake. Okay, and now what we'll need to do on the back, right there, there is one bolt. Let me try to get a good view. This bolt right there, we will need to remove this one with a 13 millimeter wrench because it's holding the intake to the head so it doesn't vibrate and cause it to crack. So you need to take that bolt off all the way. Okay, and we just took the bolt off all the way. Right there. And now we can proceed to the next step, which will be removing all these little bolts right here. This is with 8 mm socket. So we have one, two, three, four, five of them that we will need to remove all the way. Okay, this is the last bolt right there. And now we will not need to remove the throttle cable right there because we're just going to flip it on the side. But we will need to remove that vacuum hose that goes right there in the valve cover, right there. And now you can just pull it here on the side. You have one more hose holding it, vacuum hose on the back, right there. We'll need to take this one off. Those on the back, they tend to be really tight. So you can just help it a little bit with a screwdriver, but do not put too much pressure because you might crack the plastic intake. And now you can just Go ahead and flip it right there on the side and you have the room to work on the ignition coil and the spark plugs. Okay, after you remove the, the intake, what you need to do, you need to cover those holes, the intake holes. Because if you drop something, it's going all the way in and you have to remove the whole intake assembly in order to take it out. Otherwise, you start the car and you damage the engine. So make sure you cover the hose. Next, you need to remove the spark plug wire, the cable. And we're going to start with cylinder number one. So you just pull it like that. You can hear it clicking. So you pull it and now with a 5.8 socket and an extension, you will get the spark plug loose. Okay, and that's how you remove it as you can see. So we're going to replace them, each one of them. So we'll just put the new one in and go to cylinder number two. 
and we put it back together the same way we took it apart. If you have any questions let us know, please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more new videos.